Hey, what's up guys? This is Juan Corridor from Engineering Room Max Services with another video. So today we have a, I think it's, this is a A1708. This is um, 2017, no power, okay? Remember my USB. So I get the 19 volts, I'm getting the 19 volts. Can show you here, yeah. But fans not moving, computers no power none. No power none. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna visually check what's the issue. Um, let me be honest. I already worked on this computer before, and I'm gonna explain you what was the issue. There's. Let me, this is a 820-0840. So. I'm gonna explain you what was the original issue, what happened now. So if anyone is fixing one of these ones, you don't have the same issue. The first issue, it was a, a regular issue from the computer, one of the capacitor blows and it blows away. So it make, um, it put that line to ground. It was shorted. The second one was my mistake. So I didn't wanna put too much heat on the board. So I did with my, soldering iron, okay? And I put too much uh, solder. So the capacitor was lifted, was on top of the other one. It was cricket a little bit. So when I put the screw, apparently, it made too more pressure and it broke the capacitor. And then for some, the capacitor blows away, they uh, blows away again, and my pad is still shorted. So I'm gonna show you let me open OBS. I'm going to show you. Yes, I will record it. Mm. Okay, I wanna, don't wanna make a mess with the video, so let me check videos. Oh yeah. What day is today? Today is seven. Seven? It's on seven or three. Today is three, m m July thir third. Okay, so let me raise all this. Okay, perfect. So 12, 21, 12, 28, and so, okay, perfect. So if I make a new video, start recording. 441.57. Okay, there you go. So, okay. So let me show you what's the path that is shorted on this computer again. 00 a 840 There you go. Okay, so this pad over here, PP Boss G3 Hot, is that one P P5BS4? It showed it. It was showed it the first time, or, or this one. I think it was this one. One of these two. So it was showed it. I think it's this one, yeah. The first time I replaced it, computer went back to normality, was working. That was yesterday. Today I wanna, I'm gonna test it again, no power none. When I open the computer, I'm gonna show you what I saw. And I said, you know what? This shouldn't be happening to me. It's a rookie um, mistake that sometimes we're in a rush, we're working fast and you wanna fix the, uh, finish the computer very fast. Uh, fast as possible, as soon as possible. 
and then you lose details you you forget to and when you are not aware of, of the details of when things happen and then i have to spend another hour 30 minutes whatever the time i'm going to spend again trying to fix the computer that i already fixed and i already told to the client it was good let me put the phone to charge mm. There you go. So, I'm sorry, it was the phone, it was um, discharging, almost died. Okay, so, what I was showing you, okay? So this board was original deck, it came to me like that. Uh, the customer told me it was smoking, uh, smelling a little bit uh, burn. So I did check and then I found that there was a capacitor broken. I already explained it, right? So I replaced it. And I did a really bad job replacing it because it was lifted a little bit. But it was in a rush, I said, that's okay, no problem. And blah, blah, blah. And then computer next day, no power on. Okay, you can see it, right? This guy. And of course, he shut it again. Which part is that one? That one is PP Boss G3 Hot P5 BS4. So there's no way the computer is going to turn on if there is no PP Boss G3 Hot P5 BS4. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace it again and we're going to be sure we're going to do it in the right way this time. So customers don't have to wait more for the computer and I don't have to spend more time doing this. Okay. I have my donor board right there. And I'm gonna use the same capacitor. That's the same donor I used yesterday for this capacitor. So what happened is I, tr I did with my soldering iron because I don't wanna put too much heat on this computer. And it wasn't a good color. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be sure that it's not shorted anymore. It's not shorted anymore. Okay, so now I need another capacitor. So it says the ground goes to here. So based on the schematic, this is ground and this is the rail. And I'm gonna use, uh huh.
in my donor board. Trying to put direct heat on the capacitors. Good. Okay. We should be good now. We're gonna check one more time that it's not shorted. No shorted. So my pad is good again. It shouldn't fail anymore. Where's my alcohol? Oh, there you are. I have my alcohol over there because today I received it. Nuttiest computer ever. Man, it's, that computer was man, so weird. So weird, like puke and, and ah, disgusting. So I have to spend like two bottles of alcohol cleaning it before I touch it. At the end it was smelling good and working, but oof. Okay. Now it looks good, it looks how it's supposed have to look from the beginning i don't know what i did that really bad job look very good now let's test the computer one more time this kind of if you remind me on the macbook earth without saying 13 14 15 16 17 they have a ice uh, P boss I sense lines. There are three different ones. They come directly from PP Bulge is hot. And those capacitors, they look like this one, they 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 break a lot. And then they kill the F seven thousand fuse, I think it is. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure one hundred percent. I think it is. That's the name. The fuse and computers no power now. So you have to replace the capacitor or capacitors replace the fuse and done your computer is working again oh i have to connect my hard drive This is not the right screw, but the owner removed the screw by itself. He didn't brought it to me. I'm showing you this guy so we understand that even if we have experience, even if we know what we're doing, sometimes we make mistakes. Okay, and you guys next time you say oh you shouldn't be like this we can have i saw that video that this guy had the issue so it won't happen to me and then you're gonna save 
couple minutes. There you go. Fan is moving. Let me see if we have any screen. There you go, that's my screen. That's it. And it was working yesterday. It was working perfectly yesterday, but it was my mistake, it was. But at the beginning, yeah, and, and that first issue, it wasn't the capacitor. You can see a broken or anything. It was at the bottom. So measuring which pad was good or bad, I found that those or that pad was shorted. And then I I start to check with the microscope moving the board until I see something a little bit on the bottom and I removed it, I saw it, okay, done. And that was the issue. Then I did the, the bad job soldering a new one. And it took me like 30, 35 more minutes to fix it again. So that's it, guys. I wanna show you all you guys um, why you have to be sure that everything is how it's supposed to be originally. And if you any of you guys have an issue in the future with this kind of computer, this is again a A1708 2017. 17, yeah, A1708 2017. And you can go and check that, that pad, that line, check the capacitor. This one original got damaged, no reason, apparently no reason. We know those capacitors, they fail a lot. They're failing from 2011 and 12 computers. Okay, that's it guys. This is one quarter from Engineering Room, room Max Services. See you next time.